Hey everybody, I'm back with another food review and also story time. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of give you guys stories the whole time I'm eating anyways. So, today I'm having foo sack leaves. See? Can't fake the foo. Um, I don't know, a lot of people are not going to know what a foo sack leaves is. It is a southern fast food restaurant. Um... I said can't fake the food because that's what's on the bag. Um, it is chicken. It is uh, mainly only chicken, I think. Uh, that's all they sell. Um, chicken tenders. Uh, chicken tender sandwiches. Um, yeah. So, here's my meal. They give you a um, fork. Good. Uh, toast. This is a box, so it comes with chicken fingers and fries and coleslaw and ranch. I chose ranch, and uh, you can choose any kind of sauce you want. But look, that's what I got. <laughs> it's gonna be good. And my favorite part is that toast. Ooh, it's not my favorite, but it is good. A little toast. Now, my husband usually uses the toast to make a little sandwich, but he could order a sandwich, but no, he just wants to have the toast. Um, I'm already getting on on me. <laughs> so, and then I got a large sweet tea. Their sweet tea is amazing, super good. The thing about sweet tea, you guys, I can go anywhere and everywhere. And I know what place I like the tea. Because if you go up north and certain places, definitely up north, they don't have sweet tea. And then, um, I mean, a majority of the country does not serve sweet tea like the southerners serve it. And the best places to get sweet tea, it used to be McDonald's, but not anymore. Way too sweet. Um, is Foo Sackley's and Chick-fil-A. And then, of course, I always drink Milo's sweet tea. <laughs> I love Milo's sweet tea. But I went to the Milo's the other day, first time in forever. And that's another rush, uh, another uh, fast food place that a lot of you guys um, may, may not even know about. But um, they have really good food. I wish there was Milo's here. Uh, but their sweet tea at the actual restaurant is not great. So, <laughs> it's, actually, it's too sweet. You can have too sweet of a sweet tea. And then also, if it's not sweet enough. And then there's sometimes when it's like really strong, like they added way too many tea bags or something. No way. Okay, so I'm gonna start it off with having some of my chicken fingers. And what you do is you order a box at the Foo Sackley's. And um, it's like five finger box, seven finger box, and it comes, you know, with everything I have. And their ranch is to die for delicious. Mmm. 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 It's fresh. So fresh. So hot. Mmm. 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 The last food review I did was over there at Publix, their sandwiches, and y'all, that about broke my teeth. And I will tell you, I mean, it was a tough sandwich, but that thing, I don't know how much gluten was involved in that, but there was a lot, and um, I was full all night long, could not even eat dinner, I was so full. So, I really don't recommend it. I mean, if you want to be full all day, go ahead. And I only ate a six inch. Um, if you wanted your teeth ripped out, <laughs> go for it. But this chicken is tender. It's crunchy, but tender and soft. Like on the inside. I don't think they gave me enough napkins, but hey. Last month, last food review I did, I only had one napkin, so can't be mad about that. And then their coleslaw, which is really actually really good. 
And I'm not a coleslaw fan. I mean, I'm not big into it. But theirs... Theirs is good. Really, really good. Um, update on where I'm at. I'm in the middle of everything. <laughs> well, actually, I'm in a checkers parking lot because Boosackley's did not have any shade. And this checkers, I don't know why it's not even closed down yet. I mean, I never see anybody go through the line. I mean, I never see anybody here, so. <laughs> I don't even know where the employees park. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm spitting all over myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know where the employees park. Um, there's a very small parking lot here. It's shaded, so I, that's what I needed. But I'm right here at like the beginning entrance to our Walmart. And if, I know I've been around Walmart a lot in prior videos, but everything's over here by Walmart. <laughs> so it's the hub, the hub of the city. Y'all, I don't even, I can't even remember the last time I had checkers. I mean, I had to have been very young. Like a kid, like that old, like a kid. <laughs> mm. Their fries are great. They're the crinkly, crinkle flop guys. They don't have any like specific seasoning. They're salty. I dip them in the, um, the ranch but I didn't get any ketchup I would have dipped them in ketchup too forgot mm. I wish I would give them a little ranch mm. um updates oh there's somebody pulling up so I mean right this second they're getting some checkers Their music is bumping. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my God. No freaking way. That guy came up to me, wanted me to roll my window down. Did you guys hear that music? <laughs> he came up to me trying to give me a barber shop. Um, what was it? I'm in shock. No, I'm in shock right now. The things that happen to you while you're doing a food review. Spooky. Probably. I hope his music doesn't. Give me a copyright flag. <laughs> okay, y'all. Oh, he's pulling out. He's ready to go. He pulled up beside me. He's leaving. He had a full grill. He pulled up beside me, you guys. And he asked, are you just coming to my window? To give me a card that said barbershop on it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That was so weird. That was so freaky. Nobody's ever in this parking lot. I literally locked my door. Did you guys see that? Did, did that just happen? Am I like freaking out right now? I was like, no, 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 no. I can't wait to go back and watch what my reaction was to that. I'm like, I was like, this guy is getting out to come to my window. Oh my God. I'm in the middle of food reviewing. I'm in the middle of food reviewing, sir. I don't even know if we can consider him a sir. I think he was young. 
Y'all, I'm in shock. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> that was epic for my um, food review. Okay. <laughs> so, did that just happen? It did. Oh my gosh, the things that can happen to you when you go out into the wild of the world. When you go out into public. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh, okay, y'all. <laughs> Thank God y'all here were here with me. <laughs> to see that. I mean, wow. Wow. Mm. All right. Moving forward, my food is delicious. Um, I'm in shock. Uh, Goldie, my sister Goldie, I'll be with her this week. Um, I think on Tuesday. And today is Friday. This coming up week, I'm going to be with her. And we're going to do a food review together. And, um, I don't know, um, where we're going to go to eat. I don't know. Um, if you guys want to comment below to tell us where you want us to eat, go for it. But, um, yeah, we're going to do it and we're going to have fun. And I'm going to try to tell her, be cautious with your language because she is a cusser. <laughs> And she's wild, so we'll see how that goes. But she is funny, so I think y'all really enjoy it. Oh my gosh, the things that happen to you out here, though. I'm in shock. In shock. In shock. And people don't even know that you're filming or recording. They just think you're eating. <laughs> and I'm like on the main thoroughfare right here. Main thoroughfare. Wow. Wow. So, one thing about food shackles is it fills me up really fast, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Probably because it's all fried. <laughs> fried food. I was going to go to Sonic because I wanted to try something different from Sonic and um it was really busy and then I looked down and I had no gas so I needed to go get gas I could not sit there in the drive-thru and um have a feeling like that I'm gonna run out of gas so I decided to divert over back toward the gas station get food accolades because it was a way quicker line and I'm not run out of gas going through the drive-thru and then also Sonic's a little bit like they don't have any shade per se and the main thing is I need shade I mean they have those things that are over the car but the sun is like pouring in from the back of your windshield so, it's just, it's all about the lighting. Lighting and making sure my car doesn't ever, oh, this guy, he forgot to, <laughs> he forgot to um, close his gas thing. His gas tank, he had to make sure it was screwed on tight and close it. He had to get out in the middle of traffic. Batten down the hatches. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, I wouldn't, I didn't want to, um, be at Sonic, because, this sign, well, that's what I was saying, I got stuff on me, <laughs> like always, um, mainly it's, you can't have your, your camera overheat <laughs> in the middle of a month break, that's not fun. Man, I've only been videoing for like 15 minutes and already gone through 
all the stuff we've gone through. I mean, you guys saw it. You guys saw it. What was going on, right? That was a harder piece. I don't like the hard pieces. Mmm. Sorry y'all, my teeth. They're getting, it's like getting all in my teeth. I'm really full. <clears throat> Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya. Okay, so what else do I gotta do? I think I just got distracted because I got a text message saying no dogs at Thanksgiving. Where's my dog gonna go? I don't know where my dog's gonna go. Anyways, <laughs> that's for another day. Um, yeah, uh, what else? I'm about to go to the grocery store like always and get groceries. Oh, I'm in the middle of putting up my Christmas uh, decorations and I cannot find my elf on the shelf and I can't find my Christmas tree go figure my husband said oh it's probably in the shed on in the loft and I've got to go find it and I'm like okay find it and then <laughs> he's gonna find it but then um, my elf on the shelf isn't out and I can't find him so today, when I get home, I am going to scavenge every box that possibly has anything Christmas related in it and make sure, I mean, I'm going to look everywhere, everywhere for my elf. I need my little elfie. I call him elfie. I need him. I bought him a gingerbread house. Um, I specifically bought him a gingerbread house for him it's the elf on the shelf gingerbread house and me and him are going to make it together and i was just sitting there waiting for him and i can't find him so i don't know where he's hiding now i don't know what he's doing i don't know if he stole the christmas tree i don't know what is going on he's somewhere he's somewhere i'm gonna find him i'm gonna find that little baby then I'm gonna carry him around with me. <laughs> Not serious. Now usually I looked through my pictures the other day. I don't know, I was looking through pictures from literally like five years ago or even farther back. And I skipped scrolling through the years and I was like, man, I never really took that many videos in the past. And I was like, when did I really start taking pictures? Or not pictures, videos. I was like, okay, 2020, still not really that many videos. 2021, started having videos. I was like, so this thing of filming all the time, like people film you or film themselves all the time or, or do these reels and everything, it didn't even really start until like 2021. Or 2020. But, um, for me, I mean, I really didn't start really getting into it until 2021. And I was like, that is so weird. It's only been like a year or so of me realizing, like, to film. And my sister was, my younger sister was totally above, I mean, what is it? Not above, um, ahead of the curve. Because she would film all the time in the past, like, forever and ever, like, she would film everything. I'm like, Olive, what are you doing? 
oh, I'm filming this, I'm filming this. And, and I do regret it now because I look back, I, I wanted to see some videos of my dad. And I only have two videos ever of my dad that I filmed myself. And my sister has hundreds of videos of dad of my dad. Um, because she was always filming. I'm like, damn, she was ahead of the curb. Curb. Curb or curb? Curb. Man. Alright, I'm done. Boo Sackley's is a great one. Um I think the only places that you can eat Boo Sackley's is like the South. I don't know if they're in Florida. I don't even think they're in Florida. I think, I mean, I don't even know. They might only be in Alabama. So, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait. No. I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to look that up. And next time I do another food review, I will let you guys know where Fusaclis is at. Um where all of the places are that it is at but i know the only places that i can remember or know that it is at is only like places in alabama so and not north alabama south alabama so i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's really good though if you ever if you ever see one go to it if you're ever in the South, please be my guest. <laughs> Enjoy some Fusaclis. Um, The ranch is phenomenal. Phenomenal, for real. Um, so fresh. The coleslaw is amazingly great. I'm actually finishing it off right now. Mmm, so good. And um, their little bread. You know, it's just bread. It's like... A little piece of Texas toast or something. Their kind, you know. And then the fries are, you know, regular, ordinary. They're good. But the chicken is great. And um, the sweet tea is great. And I even seen some, um, like, sandwich. Uh, or their little sandwiches. They have, like, a buffalo one. Um, it's, like, chicken tenders on there with some kind of buffalo sauce. It looks really great. Um, and then I think they have a plain one. Uh, I think they even have salads. And you can buy, like, their coleslaw by the pint. Their, um, sweet tea you can buy by, like, the gallon or whatever. So they're really accommodating to big parties. You can buy, like, a 30 pack of chicken tenders or something for a party or for your whole family or whatever. That's really cool. So, um, I give it a, I'm giving, I'm giving it a 10. I'm giving it, or we'll do 9.5. 9.5 to be on the fair side. And I will take that home and I will finish it off. Um, I'm sorry you guys, this has been a really weird mukbang. I got disturbed by a text message. Um, I got stuff stuck in my teeth. I was spitting on myself. I got disturbed by a person right when I began my mukbang. Right, right when I began my food review mukbang. Somebody had to bother me. And that is so rare. I've not been bothered at my car in peace, in silence, in, in contempt. Like, in my car, just singly i have not ever been bothered like that and that is not cool i mean i'm not i'm not offended well i mean i'm not really offended but then again i'm a little bit you know i'm not i'm all by myself i'm a woman i don't need to be talking to anybody coming up to my window with a business card <laughs> but um that just happened and i don't even live in a bad area i live in a good area i live near the beach in, or pretty much on the beach in alabama so um that was first but i mean i don't think the guy had any bad intentions he wasn't when i went like that he he walked away he got the picture 
he was trying to pass out his little business card or whatever it was, but not to me, not today. Um, that interrupted the, my mug bank. That interrupted my food review mug bank, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but uh, it was epic. It was epic. It was something cool for us to have on film, I guess. Um, yeah, this has just been a weird one. Awkward, strange. But, um, oh well. So, <laughs> you can't win for lose around here. Some days it's going to be weird, some days it's not. Some day hey, it's all natural. All natural. Um, go and check out some of my videos. I've posted some shorts on here, on YouTube. And they've actually gotten a lot of views. And I know people are going to look at them and be like, Oh, cringe. Oh, this this older woman. I'm not old, old woman, y'all. I am 28. And, yeah, I'm a woman. I'm, um... Like, what? I'm not even middle-aged yet. But I'm just having fun. I'm just being a comedian. <laughs> I'm just... These are things that pop into my head. These are things that I just am standing around and I do. And I think they're funny. And so I post them. And I have gotten a lot of views on some of my recent ones. I got 17,000 views yesterday on a video. And I was blown away. But of course, it has to do with Taylor Swift. And I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. Just go watch it. You'll see. It's to do with me not wanting to be a Taylor Swift fan. And it got a lot of views. So, um, that was interesting. Go watch them. And don't be offended by them. Enjoy them. They are comedy. They are entertainment. I am just having fun. And I am not an old woman. <laughs> I am young, vibrant, and I'm just having a good time. Um, and then, uh, what else? Go follow my Instagram, my TikTok. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I repost off of TikTok and all that. But there's a lot of things on there that you guys haven't seen. A lot of things from my past or a lot of previous videos. Um, a lot of things that I don't post on here. So go follow my TikTok and my Instagram at Love's Life Literally and um, subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment where you guys want me to review next. I swear I'll go. I'll go and try it. Um, me and my sister Goldie are going to do a review next. It'll probably be the very next one. If not, then I'm sorry, but it probably will be the next one. I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that. Um, and y'all have a great weekend. Today is Friday. I, <laughs> I'm either going to post this today or tomorrow, but um, have a good weekend anyways. It's the weekend before Thanksgiving. Be thankful. Be grateful. Be blessed. Have a great day, you guys. And eat food sacklings if you ever see it.